Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to return the day of the week based on a date. And I'm going to show you two methods of doing this. And the first method uses the weekday function. So what I'm going to do in a column next to the date is use that weekday function. And all you have to do is type weekday open bracket and then click in the cell for the date that you want to return the weekday of. Close the bracket and press enter, and that will return a number. Now click back in that cell with the number, and then you need to go into the Format Cells dialog box. Now you can do that by right-clicking on the cell and going to Format Cells, or by using the shortcut key Control-1. Then you want to go down to the Custom option in the Category list, and in this type box where it currently says General, delete General, and then you can either type three Ds, you can see that gives you an abbreviated day of the week or four Ds to get the full name of the day of the week. Now, if I click on OK and then I double click on this little green square to copy the formula down, you'll see that I get the day of the week for each of these dates. If double clicking doesn't work, just drag that green square down. Now, you can actually do this without using the weekday function. In fact, the second method is quicker. All you need to do is click into the cell where you want the day of the week, type equals, and then click into the cell that has the date. Then select that cell and go back into Format Cells. So I'm using Control-1 to do that. And then we do the same thing as we did before. We go to Custom, and in the Type box, you can either type three Ds or four Ds. And if I copy this formula down, you'll see I get exactly the same results as I got when I used the weekday function. Now, if these solutions are not working for you, one thing you might want to check is that you've entered your dates correctly. So you can see in my list of dates, all the dates are right aligned, which means they're stored as numbers and dates should be stored as numbers. But for example, if I typed a date that didn't exist, it would stay on the left of the cell, which would mean I'd get the value error. Another thing that might be wrong with your dates is that you've entered them in the wrong format. For example, in the UK, we have to use forward slashes when we enter a date. If instead of forward slashes, I used full stops, then you'll see I also get the value error and the date is left aligned within the cell. So if you see these errors, it's probably because the dates haven't been entered correctly. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.